heart. When calls the heart is one of the things we're going to talk about today yeah. with you. Um, what a fun opportunity to play this it guy. Was. You're playing a judge in this? Um, in yeah, when yeah. Calls the heart? They came to me and said, uh, you know, we'd like you to play this judge. And I said, he's not nasty enough. Really? <laughs> and then it's Hallmark, of course, right? Well, everybody so is... We in, negotiated a lot and rewrote a lot, and uh, it's an interesting but you character. Okay, let, let's bring uh, everybody up to speed on this a little bit, just so we know. Uh, th this is uh, When Calls the Hearts, a wonderful series. Season one is wrapping up. And recapping, there's a mine explosion that has happened, right, in this town. Uh -huh. A lot of the men had perished in that. There are a right. lot of widows that want justice. That must be a nightmare right, right there. You know, I mean, all the good men are gone, oh. and we need justice for the women in the town. It's true, and I, you know, I just got back from shooting uh, the 33 about the Chilean miners, a 62-day oh, shoot. Oh yes, with uh, with uh, Juliette Binoche and sure, and uh, but that must yeah. yeah. So so you ended up in so so anyway, I I saw the reality of that situation, mm -hmm. you know, right. and have been kind of studying that. So you know, it uh, it rang with me. It, and, sure. So but anyway, so with this hanging judge, this circuit judge, um, you know, I suggested that uh, perhaps on the in the last um, courtroom situation mm -hmm. that he had sentenced a guy to hang, and the guy jumped over the rail and grabbed the bailiff's gun and tried to shoot him, and he had execute him right there. In, in the courtroom himself. The judge oh, shot yeah. him? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. What a good edge to bring to this yeah. guy. Yeah, and right? so that was the introduction of him. And so now, uh, you know, it, it plays that, out that he, he actually, there's a side of him that kind of like, liked that. Well, that doesn't Except make him a bad guy. the family is looking for Ooh. him now. The fam oh, the family yeah, he, for he revenge. May, you know, and I'm making this up right now. He may have a habit of things like this, you know. Oh. He may be a, basically we could, a gunslinger. We should write and, the script right here, right now. We could write the, open the season two. Well, I'll just we'll throw see. out some ideas. <laughs> and, <laughs> well, let's, let's take a look. Let's, we have really? a clip with us. No. Do you know what, do you yes. know what it is? Yes, you know what it is, the clip? Do you need to set it up? Uh, basically, I think uh, it's probably uh, I'm I'm just arriving in town you mean and meeting Uncle everybody Jack, the Jack first Wagner? time. His character, yep. Jack Wagner. Yeah, yep. he was, yeah, he was yep. here the other day. Huh? Really? Yeah, he was. He was. Right. He was. He Good told guy. us about you. He yeah. told us about oh. your character. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah he did. Uh -huh. My personal character. No, no, I can vouch for your personal character, <laughs> but let's see. Enough, a clip. We'll get to that in just a minute. Let's get to this. Let's take a look. Judge. Trust you had a safe ride in? Well, considering I got out of Coopersville alive, I wasn't all that bad. Well, it doesn't sound all that good either. Justice prevailed. That's what matters. You expecting someone? Yeah, always. You make a lot of enemies on this job. You got a saloon here? We do. Poker? Got that too. Trial starts at 8. Sharp. Apparently, his little brother here don't agree that justice prevailed. Lock him up, constable. Put him on my docket for tomorrow. <laughs> Wow. He knows what he's doing. That guy's a year in command. There. Do you like playing? You look really just so good as a cowboy. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, it's good as... I'm sorry. I didn't know what else to you know, do. I don't know if you were going to finish that thought. I did just like, there. wow. Remember, I did Westworld in 73, yes. and that was a pseudo cowboy. And then after that, I became kind of a pseudo. You know, I had the ranch for 10 years in Paso and raised and trained horses. and. But nobody would ever hire me for a film, you know, so. But now you're doing it. No, now yeah, you're doing no. it. How do much? You, oh, go ahead. No, I have do you like play? I, I, I grew up watching Gunsmoke with my dad, James yeah. Arnett, me, uh, all me of that too. stuff. And, yeah, and uh, I Maverick, you know. Yeah. And, uh, and, and I think I would take on a little bit of the accent, because people say, yeah. where are you from, uh, Oklahoma or Texas? And I'd say, no, I'm from way out west, Westwood Village. <laughs> way west. Mm. It, it must did, be fun, though. I, I, can I just well, have a boy moment? A boy moment. Okay, have a, I used right. to dress up in, as a cowboy, and it just, you huh? just... And I did on the ranch, too. Yeah. And I, uh, but like when you a, do it here, did it all... We're all right. We're, are four you, hour where drive are you going? Are you going to go clean? Going? No, what are you here, gonna do? sit down. 
Oh, sure, oh. we can have a moment. Oh, 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 fantastic. Right. Good talk, and then I will. Well, I'm going to have to move later because then yeah. you guys have to talk about it. No, playing a cowboy has to be an ultimate dream role to play, but you don't normally play. You like squeaky clean guys usually, right? I don't like them. <laughs> I play them. You know, you know what? I mean, listen, in this business, you get hired for what you did on the last job, right? Right, yeah. Yeah, right. That's all. And so right. that keeps repeating and repeating. And what you have to do is really make your, you know, the, make your career. Yeah. I and then when everybody's bored with it, then change it again, That's you know? Right. Sure. You're bored with me right now, yet. so no, I'm trying to... No, 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 I, not you. No, I'm not. I want to know, like, in, in like your favorite cowboy uh, when you were growing up. See, your catches favorite on, cowboy. doesn't it? No, I want to know, because oh. you two guys, who who, can you, who well, do you want to be in a Western? I, you know what I Four? Did. Mm. No, I Go loved ahead. Wild Wild West though too oh, when they did yeah. it because they had the the um, that was more of a Jim fantasy West was the, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah it was but I liked it because there was a little bit of James Bond in it but I also you know actually going along with this this character and this thought once upon a time in the West when Henry Fonda shot the kid in the face you know, the good yeah, guy, yeah. like, and like, I'm yeah. like, wow, what is this movie? I got to watch the rest of this movie. Yeah. That well, was Sergio Leone, right? Sergio, oh, yeah. yeah, it's a great Italian director. But but if you have a, it in the saloon that you want to go and play poker and have a beer, if you need, you know, like, uh, like a Miss Kitty, I'm available. Sure. I can, I could do, I could oh. come in. Oh. I could come That'd in. That'd be and, my cue to yeah, move okay. you back. <laughs> hey, yeah. Here, there, okay. you go there. I could come and run the saloon, that. and I would, you know, you know, why not? <laughs> well, we have, <laughs> just, just to point out, we do have Western street right outside here if you yeah, want you want to come back wearing a cowboy outfit I did I'll meet gun you out smoke. there okay it's a deal i did gun smoke number four with our nest yeah and he was only good for like two hours of work a day and then they'd take him back to his chair <laughs> and uh, but i i i uh as a matter of fact it was for cbs and it was the role of a preacher whose congregation had left him to grovel in the in the gold country right wow and uh, and I played it like an old drunk, right? And they did not like it. It was three days of, uh, you're being fired tomorrow, Jim. And um, it's, uh, they just not, and I said, listen, I'm not, this is the role I took. Yes. This is what I'm doing. It was one of the times I stood up for myself, right? Oh. Anyway, Les Moonves walks into the screening room uh, in the, at noon and is standing in the back watching. He says, hey, you know, Brolin's really good in this. <laughs> <laughs> and they all went, uh, yeah, 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 he is. And the problem well, disappeared. Well, it helps when the president of CBS tells you tells you look yeah. fabulous. Or you, uh, well, yeah. yeah, but you're, I'm so excited you're into this because you've added a, a new dimension, new life into When Calls the Heart. And I mm. think you give it a, a like a sturdier heart. Well, you know, I, I'm going to I'm gonna become more acquainted with it because yeah. I hadn't followed it all year. And suddenly I'm yeah. up there and I'm in the middle of it. Yeah. And I'm, you know, I don't know a lot. And actually, a lot of times on script, many times if the role is kind of segregated from the rest of the mm -hmm. cast and right. story and everything I won't want to read it I may skim it uh -huh. but I want I only want to read what this guy would know about and not not everything now perhaps I made a few mistakes <laughs> during the show or something but that's my take many times and it was not my take on this one you know well the um, so I'm not familiar with the whole show and I'm gonna be more familiar with the sh whole show especially if I go back up there and Show you what us is judging. I'm sure you've got I do. A lot of Can I bring up, up something sleep? else though? Because since yeah. we're sort of reminiscing here, yeah, there you you had ranches of horses, but you also had a steel horse that you rode way back in the day. We have a picture of this of steel. you. Steel. Yes. Come on, a steel horse I ride. Horse. That's a good cue. There oh. it is. Oh, look at there. Okay, huh? that was my ride. There it is. Yeah. That was your ride. That was my you ride. You want to explain that? I'll you explain it. That. Do you want to yeah. explain it? Well, there's more of a seat on the back of that <laughs> oh, picture. Oh, thank you. And that, that was your seat, right? That was my yeah. seat. Because How, what? Wait, you guys have known each other since your days at Fox right. Studio, mm -hmm. working Since together. you were... I was when, 16. Hey, yeah. yeah. hey, listen, I could have been arrested. <laughs> <laughs> wait, so the relationship happened, but how did you end up on the back of his motorcycle? Well, because I couldn't really drive at that time, and we were under contract to 20th Century Fox, that was and uh, I didn't have a ride home. I had to wait for my daddy, usually, to pick me up at 5, and Jimmy very kindly said, don't worry, I'll take 
take you home. So I, the first day that he took me home, he assumed he, I had a car. Yeah, I assumed he had a car. He had a motorcycle. <laughs> and I looked at it, and it had a very generous back seat. You're right. Uh -huh. And I looked at it, but at the time, we had to wear dresses. And, and I thought, oh, my gosh, how am I going to you know, get on this thing? And so I got onto the back of the bike, and we go sailing down Santa Monica Boulevard all the way down past mm. La Cienega mm. and to the 405. And then we took the 101. Never mind. That's like inside <laughs> yeah. job. Okay. okay. Uh, so, so anyway, that's a California We job. got lost. I ran out of gas. No. And, and no. Jimmy okay, used to have to leave me off about a block before I asked him to, a block before the house, because if my dad. Before. Yeah. My father found it because my dad was a butcher. Found out that I was riding on a motorcycle. No, there weren't any helmet laws at the time. Mm -hmm. With a gentleman who was over 21, mm -hmm. I would have been in big trouble. I have no and idea he, he was a butcher, but yeah, way. he was a butcher. <laughs> she told me so, today. Yeah. <laughs> he was. He was. That could have got you in some yeah. big, big trouble. But you know, can well, we can okay. we say what my nickname was? Is that okay? <sighs> To what, say what my nickname was? Where, where was uh, it's nickname? okay with me. I think it's perfect for Hallmark to grow up on. Okay. Uh, okay, well, you used to call me Jailbait. Oh, okay, yeah, no, that's what no, but he could have gone all show with okay, that. Well, that's, that's a good time to, yes. to shed okay. with ears. Said it in a respectful way. Said it in a respectful way. way. Respectful way.